So let's take another look at one. Let's say this time we're going to look at a sampling problem. Now, uh, for those of you who remember, we did a mark, capture, and recapture process. So say we did that again. 300 fish were marked. So that's an important number, 300 fish. Uh, from the recapture result, scientists estimate that the lake contained 2,500 fish. So that would be our population. What percent of fish were marked? So we're trying to find a percentage. Now again, this question is a little bit complicated. A percent. Hmm, let's think about it that. Oops. Let's think about percentages for a moment. A percent is the same as a fraction over 100. So we have x over 100. That's our percent. So 100% of the population, well, scientists estimate the lakes contain 2,500 fish, so that would be 100% of our population. Our portion of our population was the 300 fish that got marked. So there's our proportion. x over 100 is equal to 300 over 2,500. And so again, we can go through and we're going to do the cross multiplication. So we have 2,500x equals 30,000. I'm going to divide both sides by 2,500. Break out my trusty computer calculator which I seem to have accidentally closed. So just bear with me here for a moment while I open it up again. There we go. So 30,000 divided by 2,500 equals 12. So our final answer here, x equals 12. So 12 over 100, well, that's the same as 12 percent. Okay, so we're just going to move on. Oh, and that's the end of this tutorial. Those are a few examples of how we use proportion, ratio, and cross multiplication. And what I hope you've learned from this lesson is to carefully read the problem. You want to highlight or underline what you think are the important and key numbers and highlight the units that you're dealing with or highlight the whole and the part, the population and the sample. Thank you guys very much for listening. I want you guys to give the worksheet that I left to try and see what you can figure out. If you're a little bit confused, go back, watch the tutorial again, watch where I had problems. It'll help you identify where you might have some challenges as well. Anyways guys, have a great week. Talk to you later.